Hello YouTube, Tune Fabricator here once again with another AutoCAD video. Today I'm going to be drawing a piston. It's going to be in two parts. Part one is going to be the 2D drawing of it. It's going to be a relatively short video, part one. Part two is going to be a little bit more in depth and that is going to include just pretty much developing the parts that I've drawn in part one using different commands such as extrude, rotate, this command up here which is a solid subtract it's pretty straightforward I'm going to dive straight in ok so first command select line and we'll see maybe give that a distance of 10 and this is basically just going to be the head of the piston I'm just going to zoom in there by rolling my finger on the mouse wheel I'm going to go down. You've got to understand that this is sort of half of the piston. In part two, I'll be rotating this and it'll give you a much better idea. Well, it'll help you understand this part a bit more clearly. Anyway, right, so I'll go down. Let's see, I don't know. Five. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's five. Come in maybe one and a one and a one and a keep doing this and these are going to be the actual the lands in between I think it's for the piston rings so down one in one So on and so forth. Let's have a look. Escape that. That was a little bit too long. Delete that. There you go. One. And so there you have it. Let's get rid of that one. And what we're going to do, we're going to just zoom out a little bit there. Might as well come down there. Let's see if five. And we'll get a bearing off that. That'll click in there and we'll just close it all off. Boom. There you go, that's all closed off. Now what I want to do, set the full item. Press J for join, that is now one entity. Remember you've got to press J for join for the other one when you go into 3D. Now what I'm going to do is draw the inside of the piston. And I'll start from maybe down here we'll go up maybe it's four and we'll come in maybe it's two give our measurement a five and come that line what I'm now going to do Let's move that outside. And this, the bit I'm drawing now, is going to be the inside of the piston. I'll just close it off there, get a bearing. And that close off nicely. Again, what we do, G if I join. Here, that's all one empty. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to revolve this in the second part. I'm going to also revolve that in the second part. I'm going to add this part once it's revolved to the piston. And then I'm going to use that function. So I'm going to draw the next bit. And this is going to be the whole forward piston pin. 
I'll give up maybe a diameter of I don't know, it's a radius of two point five. In fact, no, I think I made that a little bit smaller. Again, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. We'll give it a radius of two. Yeah, that would do. Now, what I'm going to do is develop the part under here, which is going to create a skirt, a piston skirt. Have a look. What sort of length would we like this? So let's see, maybe eight. And also, we're going to draw an arc, maybe to about there. Great. And now, I will just trim that little bit off there. Let's see if I join. And we're going to mirror this. function or no join that and it should be all one entity that's great so now we've got all the parts of our piston doesn't look like much but in part two you'll see the way I actually develop the piston by using a few different commands so anyway, that's a relatively short video, but I'll part two. Hope you like this video. If you have, leave your comments down below, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. And I think that's a tune fabricator out.